People trying to fix traffic problems here have put some cities on road diets, reducing or rechanneling lanes to improve congestion. But a restaurant owner says the idea choked off so much business he had to close. Here's CBS 2's Joe Kwan. It destroyed my life and ruined my family. John Atkinson had dreams of continuing his family's legacy when he opened up Louis of Mar Vista in 2013. It was in the same spot his grandfather and a World War II buddy had run Louis Meat Market from 1954 to 1969. It was a beautiful family legacy. You're going to make me tear up because this is, uh, this is, this is. This was what we wanted to do. Atkinson says his restaurant was profitable for four years. I planned on being here as an old man sitting at this beautiful marble bar. But says this summer when some car lanes on Venice Boulevard were swapped for bike lanes and parking, his dream faded. The road diet killed it in in three months. He does admit a decision to run his other business full time and leaving staff to run Louis also contributed to the downfall and led to these bad reviews on Yelp. But says the road diet it was the last nail in the coffin. Councilman Mike Bonin refused a request for an interview and refused to send a statement. Atkinson isn't the only one feeling the effects of the road diet. Around the corner is Venice Grind. The owner says sales are down 25% since these new bike lanes were added. Atkinson says he supports road safety projects but claims the road diet made Venice Boulevard unsafe. I saw two people get hit on bicycles in a month and in five years I never saw anybody get hit on a bicycle. He calls it a flawed design that destroyed a dream. Politicians murdered me. They killed my business. In Mar Vista, Joe Kwan, CBS2 News.